Good morning. Today we should be leaving Ankara, but Matt's a bit unwell. So we're ditching him and I'm traveling on my own by now. One man down, one to go. <laughs> on a serious note, we're just gonna take it easy for the next couple of days. We've changed our plans quite a lot to fit everything in. So we're gonna see you in a couple of days. Well, that was sort of a couple of days. It's been a day and a half, but I'm feeling a lot better. And the time is 8.30. And about an hour ago, we had a look at the buses to the next place we're going in Turkey. And there was one going at 11 o'clock tonight. And we thought, either we sit here and wait until tomorrow morning, and then we have a 12 hour bus journey during the day, or we just go tonight, smash it overnight, and we'll be there by tomorrow lunchtime. So that's what we decided to do. So we're just going to pack up our stuff and let's get to the bus station. So step one and two are down. We've made it to the bus station alive and we've got snacks. Now we need to find our, what's it called? Stop. Platform, <laughs> Platform. I guess. Platform. I, was, I, I was gonna say, now we've got to find our pit on. <laughs> now we've got to find our platform. We're on the bus. It was a little bit late and we were starting to panic to be honest that we got the wrong platform. But two lovely ladies outside were translating for us and they phoned up the office of the company to double check we're on the right platform. And yeah, then they were translating that the bus was delayed. And They're like, they don't lovely. panic, it's just late. <laughs> Bless them. So, so sweet. sweet. Teşekkürler. Сейчас оплатить или потом? Потом. И да, это сразу до потуре, да? Да, да. Отлично. Спасибо вам большое. До встречи. До встречи. Just you fun, Georgian. I just went straight in and I said, do you speak English? to the guy in the bus station and he said no and then you have a good like that. We'll explain everything to you in a sec. Go everything to the happened too quick. Welcome to Ritza in the far northeastern corner of Turkey. This town is famous for two things in particular. First being that it's the tea plantation capital of Turkey. A lot of you might know that Turkish people drink a lot of tea and most of the tea is grown here in the Ritza province. And the second thing it's famous for is it's the hometown of Recep Tayyip Erdogan, the president of Turkey. So we got to the bus station a little while ago and we weren't sure what we were going to do today to be honest. We need to get to Georgia, we obviously want to keep moving, but we wanted to try and get up into the mountains if we could. So when we got here on the bus station we walked into another office to try and see if uh, we could find a bus up to the mountains. But when I went in there and said do you speak English, the guy didn't, but someone was sitting there and said do you speak Russian. I said yeah, and then he was basically Merhaba. 
<laughs> and he explained that he could have dropped us, he was going to the border with Georgia and he could have dropped Marava. <laughs> he could have dropped us halfway along this road where from there we could have got a bus up to the mountains, which would have been a hell of an adventure. Hello. Hello. But he said it was Sunday and there's not many buses running at the moment. <laughs> So it could end up waiting there all day. We could have ended up being stranded there, yeah. So he also gave us another option. He said after six, he's going to Batumi in Georgia. So we could hop on the bus with him. And that's what we decided to do. We thought, why not? We wanted to get to Georgia, didn't we? Yes, and there is another reason why we're not upset about it is because we're planning to spend a lot of time in Turkey so we know that we will be coming back here 100% so that's why we decided that while we have all our bags with us and everything let's just cross into Georgia now and come back when we're nice and light <laughs> and probably not on Sunday as we said a few videos ago we're learning Turkish and there is a reason to that it wasn't just for this particular journey so yeah more to come in the future from Turkey but for now let's go and get some food I'm thinking Turkish breakfast. Oh, that sounds like a plan. So what you won't know watching this is we've actually been sitting here for nearly 90 minutes now. <laughs> the lady came up and she like translated and said, patient. And we were like, that's fine, we're not in a rush. <laughs> but my God, our stomachs are rumbling. So we are going to tuck in. So the time now is 1.45. That killed a lot of the day. I know, right? Let's go for a walk around. Let's go have a look. Oh my God, look at the dog. He has breakfast there every day. <laughs>
Get up. <laughs> Bring up the teacup. You know what? I just thought about it. Normally you down the cup of tea. How are we going up a cup of tea? <laughs> What's that sound? Boom boom. Oh, what breeze. What? I thought you were joking. No. <laughs> We previously mentioned that uh, Rize is the tea growing capital of Turkey and you can see tea plantations everywhere inside the hills here. And what is better than to build a massive cup of tea in the city centre to capture this mighty power? Beautiful. Oh. oh wow. So to be honest, Ritz is not a very big town, the population is only 100,000, but it's been quite an honour to be honest to be able to look around a small Turkish town and see what life's like here, as opposed to a big city like Ankara. It's been a real good comparison and really interesting to see. Hope you've enjoyed it too, and the time is 5 o'clock, let's get to the bus station, let's go to Georgia. So while we're tucking into this, we notice these two condiments here that we got served. And apparently these are traditional Turkish village condiments. This is called Mekyones, and this is Ketchup. Incredible, comes from the mountains of Ritsa. Amazing. Smart to eat. <laughs> 